Hi everyone, I'm here with Emerald Loves. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, this is my first like little interview thing. It's my first time meeting her, so I thought it'd be fun to like get to know her with you guys. Um, I guess we can just start right away. Like, do you want to say anything about yourself? Like where you're from? Um, I'm, a, I'm an open book, pretty open-minded. Nice. Uh, talk to me about anything and I can try to give you an answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can make this juicy then, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. Okay, so we are both in the industry. We're going to be making a little video later today, so you have to find that somewhere else, not on YouTube. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> but I guess the first question I could ask is how you got into the industry. How I got into the industry, I I made a sexy jobs profile and um, someone scouted me. Uh, it was um, Brian from AMA, he scouted okay. me. He scouted me, I, I mean, I was ready to, but I had a lot of apprehensions. I had a like, but what if? And then I think a week after he scouted me, I made my first trip to Florida. Oh, cool. And uh, the rest is history. Yeah. I still haven't shot in Florida yet. Um, maybe I will go out there one day. We'll yeah. see. Do you have a lot of fun out there? Oh, yeah. My first trip was really good. I mean, it just, the people that I met were really awesome. Um, everything that came out was good. Um, it's, yeah. I had a really good experience. I'm really thankful for it. That's good. And then, so that's how you started porn. Did you do anything else? Um, like in the adult industry before that before that i was i before that i've been stripping for two years oh wow uh, yeah cool. and even just one day one night in the club is a long time so yeah i i've just i've been stripping for two years um it's i mean really it's really similar i mean the stage names all the outfits you have to do all the the beauty care that you have to do it kind of like tied in with it so i felt like my transition into doing adult work was fairly easy because i already had some kind of idea of like that field so gotcha. that helped a lot when i first got in i like had no idea like I was the kind of girl that was like growing up and like never wore makeup. I was kind of like a, a girl jock since I used to be a figure skater. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> so like putting on makeup every day was like kind of weird for me. I would, the only times I would put on makeup before would be like, oh, it's competition day. Let's get all glammed up. Um, but now it's like before every scene. And it's funny because I get like super nervous like before all the scenes I do because I'm like, putting on makeup to me is like I'm getting into like competition oh, mode oh <laughs> yeah you still associate funny. yeah <laughs> that's totally understandable what was it like for you growing up like what kind of household me growing up um you know my parents they're always really laid back oh really yeah super laid back wow. I was really thankful for that um I did not really play any sports in high school okay I guess my sport was getting getting stoned every day <laughs> um, I love that I did skateboard I did oh, skateboard cool. um in middle school and high school so I was a skater girl I was I've been told I've always been rebellious. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's just, it's always like, I've kind of like always been rebellious. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Um, yeah, I was the complete opposite. I was like, very good girl. Like, I remember one time in high school, like, all of my friends were drinking. Jackie was there, who is filming right now. <laughs> and were you drinking? No, um, I I wasn't drinking either, but they breathalyzed everyone. It was like my first time getting breathalyzed and I was like, oh my God, like if I was drunk there, I would have gotten so much trouble. I would have <laughs> got kicked off Team USA. I like totally blew it up. So I was like, definitely have to be on my shit. Like can't get in any more trouble after that. Oh my God. And I also had like really, really strict Asian parents. Like they were insane. Like I couldn't play outside because they were like oh you're gonna be 
a hoodlum. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I was like, that's so crazy. And they would just like yell at me about everything all the time. Um, even when I was like 18, I was still living in my parents' house. They were still on top of me about everything. Like, there was no dating boys. I had to, like, secretly talk to guys on, like, AIM. Like, <laughs> and my mom would, like, come to, like, stand behind me over my shoulder to, like, read what I was saying to, like, all my friends. Yeah, it was just, like, not a very fun household. So you're so lucky, and I envy you for, <laughs> for um, you know, having, like good parents to like let you like grow up on your own and stuff mm -hmm. yeah, it's very so thankful. funny were you, were you like good with the boys uh, when you were like growing up was I good with the boys yeah yes <laughs> <laughs> I had like no luck with boys growing football up. players soccer players the skater boys everything in oh, between did you have a type um, you know, when I was in high school, I was this skater girl. I was okay. pretty emo. So, like, I really liked those guys, the skater boys. Oh, yeah, yeah. skater boys are the best. Yes, those were my favorite kind of guys. But, I mean, I, I really, I really had, I mean, that was my type, but I wouldn't turn down, you know, if, like, <laughs> a baseball player wanted to hang out. I would never turn that down. Yeah. <laughs> um, see, I get, I think the only guys that I would turn down, and I think it's only because I'm a figure skater, but like, fuck hockey guys, <laughs> because hockey they're guys. like so stinky, like the locker rooms, <laughs> they would just like destroy the locker rooms, and then I would have to like go to the same locker room, um, and then I'd be like, those fucking hockey players, they need to <laughs> wash their pads and stuff, so that's funny. Um... When did you lose your virginity? Me? I lost my virginity very young. I, really? Oh, God. I remember the day perfectly, too. <laughs> I My um, boyfriend at the time, his parents had left. Um, like, they went on a vacation. And it took, like, a at least an hour to walk there. And I still did it anyway. And this was when I would You walked an hour to yeah. get this fucked was, for the first time <laughs> yeah this was when i lived in texas and it was the middle of summer so it felt like 98 degrees oh my I god you're like i'm getting that dick today yes <laughs> yes i was oh god i was very young middle school let's say middle school yeah oh my god Damn, so you're very sexually you're gonna have to teach me a thing or two today <laughs> yeah. um yeah, I, I'm also the opposite in this as well. <laughs> I didn't lose my virginity until I was like, I can't remember if I was 18 or 20, but you'll like this. The guy was a skater guy, and oh. he, I let him borrow my pen. <laughs> and, um, oh, I'm, I think I was 20. Okay, yeah, so I, no, I was 18. Doesn't matter. Anyway, I let him borrow my pen in class, and then after class, I was like walking on campus, and then he like, like comes by me on a skateboard he's like here's your pen and then we started like talking and then um and then i fucked him like at a party like <laughs> and then he was really upset that i didn't tell him i was a virgin but i was so embarrassed that i was like i'm like an old virgin i was like i can't fucking tell him <laughs> yeah but he didn't he didn't know that's... he didn't know that means you were good at what you were doing. Oh, yeah, maybe that's what it means. No. Yeah. I mean, I think I just laid there. And <laughs> it wasn't good. My only, like, sexual education was via, like, Cosmo. And oh. it's, like, the worst advice. Yeah. Like, and the first guy I gave a, gave a hand job to, he was like, stroke my dick as hard as possible. And I was like, Whoa. okay. So I thought that's how all guys like hand jobs. <laughs> But, like, the first, like, um, like, three guys that I would give, like, hand jobs to, they'd be like, okay, just, like, stop. And then, <laughs> <laughs> um, my boyfriend, like, after we were hooking up for a while, was like, I was like, okay, you need to, like, chill on the hand jobs because I was like, oh my god, I thought everyone liked it that way. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, no, it kind of, like, gives me rug burn, so, not to sell. Um, what are you, like, into sexually? 
what am I into sexually? Mm-hmm. Kissing is a number one requirement for me. Okay. Tongue, licking, all of that. Oh, okay. Yes. See, I get shy about my tongue. You do? I, that's Aww. my, like, number one criticism, and I think I take it very personally. <laughs> All my friends are like, you still haven't let that go yet. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> They're like, you need to use more tongue. Like, you don't know how to kiss. But Aww. sometimes I just, like, feel like I'm shoving my tongue down, like, someone's throat. And it's, like, oh. weird. I Did mean, you, you always like have to girls? worry about that with me. Okay, cool. <laughs> Did I always like girls? Yes. I mm-hmm. knew at a very young age. I, I had the feelings, like, maybe like around like five like I would notice like other girls were attractive to me and guys but it was always like on the same spectrum and I think oh when I was 13 I was actually watching lesbian porn and the first time I actually learned how to make myself like come like with my fingers I was watching lesbian porn and I was like oh my god like this seals the deal this is how i really know i actually like girls because i get turned on by this stuff and then a week later i was at the mall with my friends you know teenagers they hang out at the mall and i just got curious and i just started making out with her in the bathroom and then yeah that really sealed the deal so I feel lucky that I got to know at a really young age. I mean, there's not really a limit to know when, you know, people have awakenings when they're 40 or it doesn't yeah. matter. But, yeah. I didn't try until... Well, I always knew that. Not always. I definitely liked boys first, like, when I mm-hmm. was younger because of, like, classic Disney. And I'd be like, oh... John Smith, so cute. And, like, (laughs) Ken. Um, So I kind of had, like, classic conditioning of, like, I really liked, like, Pretty Boys and Prince Charming and all of that stuff. And then I think it hadn't been, like, high school. I, like, really started noticing, like, I'd be checking girls out and stuff like that. Um, Never... I mean, like, I was barely hooking up with guys. (laughs) Um, But I noticed in high school I was always, like, checking girls out, like, looking at their tits, and I was, like, into, like, their faces and stuff. And um, so I was like, oh, like, even with, like, guys I was with, I would be, like, checking girls out more than, like, my boyfriend was. (laughs) And um, one time I got... Like, my first time with a girl was, like, we were, I mean, we were having fun on the weekend, (laughs) and we were a little bit under the influence, but um, she was always, like, super sexual, and she opened up my sexuality, and then we ended up, like, hooking up together, and it was so hot, and I was like, okay, I definitely like girls, and my first, like, experimentation, like, was like, okay, like, I'm so into this. Yeah, that's awesome. But it's cool you were very lucky, and you got to, like, figure that out at a young age and like be like comfortable with that mm-hmm. yeah thank you porn <laughs> yeah. thank you porn yeah. my first time watching porn was with um I think I was in high school and um in high school yeah oh like I, I, like I barely watched porn <laughs> Um, me and my friend, we were doing this competition in Philly, and we were hanging out in his hotel room, and, like, he had his laptop, and we were like, hey, let's watch porn! (laughs) Um, and then we, like, watched porn together, Uh, we were just, like, next to each other, like, that was weird. (laughs) (laughs) And that was, like, the first time I watched porn. (laughs) Mm. The first time I watched, oh... I sound so bad, but I mean, the first time I watched porn and I had access to it, I think, uh, sixth grade? Summer or sixth grade when my parents were gone? Yeah. You know, they'd go to work and it was summer break and I I just, I always wanted to see it, so yeah. Yeah, I was like, yeah, we figured this out. I was just like the good... Catholic girl, I was like, oh, porn. And now I'm like, <laughs> give me more dick, pussy. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, it's fun, like, getting to know you and talking about stuff. Do you want to plug anything? Your OnlyFans? Like, where yes. are you more? 
Yes, so OnlyFans.com slash Emerald Loves X, just one X. And that's the same for all of my platforms. I have the same name on Twitter, Instagram, and uh, many vids. It's all the same. Emerald Loves X. Yes. Cool. Alrighty, guys. Um, thanks for watching. We're going to make some content. And we're going to have a little fun today. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.